As a buyer, how long do I have during an escrow or transaction to back out without any monetary penalty? Mm -hmm. Welcome back to another episode of Fridays with the Fiddle Fig. I'm John Selby with the Selby team, and this is a question I run across with buyers all the time. They're nervous to get into escrow because they feel if they, for some reason, uncover something that they aren't comfortable with or they can't qualify, they have monetary penalties for backing out. This is not true in, at least in the state of California and in San Diego. We have during our escrow period, what's called a free look period or a contingency period, where the buyer has the right to look into various different things before deciding 100% that they're gonna move forward. The first thing that a buyer has to look into and what is typically the shortest contingency period is the overall condition of the property. This is related to the structure, this is related to any permitting for the property or you know electrical systems, things like that. And the buyer usually does a home inspection and, and does any further inspections on that to make sure that they're comfortable with the condition of the property or we enter into some sort of negotiation to see if we can come to an agreement with the seller um, on either some repairs that need to be done or a monetary credit so that the buyer can make the property in a con into a condition that they're comfortable with. The next longest contingency or the next thing that somebody's going to be looking into is they're going to be looking into the value of the property. So that's when we have an appraiser come out to the property, look at what's there, the condition, compare it against other like kind properties in the neighborhood and determine the value and make sure that the buyer is not overpaying for the property. What this could mean if the buyer is overpaying in some way, shape or form, the lender won't lend the full amount that the buyer needs in order to actually purchase the property. So this would be the second reason that a buyer could back out is that the property wasn't valued or wasn't appraised at what they were paying it, paying for the property. And the third major thing that a buyer has to look into is obviously their financing. Is the buyer qualified to get a loan on the property that they're looking at purchasing? So this is typically the longest time frame because there's a lot of paperwork that goes back and forth and the lender has to check and balance things. The appraisal is part of the buyer's approval process. And so um, the, the last and sometimes typically the longest period would be the, um, the inspection, or sorry, the loan contingency period. And uh, this is the time frame that the lender has to basically look into the buyer's finances and the property, make sure that they're comfortable actually giving a loan on the property. So as you can see, there are a few steps once you actually are in escrow where a buyer has some check and balances and some things to look into where if they weren't comfortable with it or they didn't approve or weren't approved by the lender, they would have the right to back out with no monetary penalty to them. Um, this time frame varies. In the state of California, it's approximately 21 days for the total contingency removal time frame. This is obviously negotiable on any purchase, um, and circumstances change this number, change these these times these time frames drastically, um, depending on on how many offers you may be going up against or your circumstances. Um, but how, nevertheless, you are, as the buyer do have a free look period on most purchases, uh, and that's something that I would advise you to just consult with your realtor about uh, before writing an offer so that you understand all those time frames very clearly and can make sure you meet them. That's it for this week's episode of Fridays with the Fiddle Fig. Let us know if you have any topics you want covered on a future episode, and we'll see you next week. Have a good one. Mm -hmm.